guys, it's Rolani and welcome back to another episode, uh, another reading my fanfiction. One, my academia one shots. So we should we should just get started. Asking May hats me out. Tanya Ida is walking to UA the Roman studio. He entered the room and saw May Hatsume working on her newest baby, her inventions. Hello, Hatsume, said Tanya. Oh, Ida, are you here to test my newest baby? Oh, uh, May? Um, no, said Tanya. Then May turned back to her work. Hatsume, I came to ask you to dinner, said Tanya. Uh huh, nice. Nice, said May. Is that a yes? asked Tanya. Um, yes, said May, still working on her invention. Okay, good. See you at six, said said Tanya. Yeah, sounds good, said May. Tanya left. Left. Power loader looked at May with a confused face. Hey, Hatsune, you do know Tanya Ida asked you out on the date. You, you, and you said yes, said power loader. May looked up with a surprised look. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> said, said May nervously. Yep. Yep, this is why you should stop focusing on your adventures. Inventions, said said Power Loader. I'm gonna leave early, said May. All right, right, said Power Loader. May left and started walking, but May wasn't looking where she was going, and she bumped into someone. It was the girls of Class 1A. Mina Ashido, Suyu Asui, Ashaka Yoraka, Kyoko Jiro, Kyoka Jiro, Toru Hakakure, Hakakure, Momo Yairosu. All the girls somehow became friends. Oh, sorry, said May. It's all right, said Mina. Hey, May, are you all right, said Archako. Oh, I was asked out on a date, but I don't have anything nice to wear, answered May. Oh, we can help you with that, said Toru Hakakure. Really, said May. Yep, all the girls said at the same time. They grabbed May's arms and lead her to the 1A dorms. They brought her to Mina's room. They started doing her makeup. But May, okay, uh, then Momo had a dress in May's size. May put it on and over in the common area. Ida came out in the room, out of his room in the suit. Whoa, Ida, nice suit, said <laughs> Kirishima. Thank you, Kirishima, said Tenya. Hey, four eyes, why are you wearing a suit? asked Bakugo. I actually have a date tonight, answered Ida. Oh, really? Who are you going on a date with? asked Izuku Midoriya. Ida was about to answer, but May and the girls came down. Ida looked at May. Hey? He thought that she looked looked video, beautiful, even though she still had her goggles on. Atsume said, Ida. Oh, hi, Ida. The girls were having uh, me for our date, said May. Said May. Wait, your date is Ida? Uh, said Ochako. Yep, said May. They, they left right away to avoid everyone's questions. Ida and May went off walking. So where are we going? Asked May. There's a ramen place near here. I, I'm, I'm craving ramen. I thought it should be it, it should be nearby, so we don't be like for cur curfew," said Ida. Okay, good. And you don't have to call Hat. We have to May. You can just call me May," said May. All right, May. You can call me Tanya," said Tanya. They they arrived and get seated to a table. While you're eating, Tanya, is there a reason why you asked me out? Out, um, asked May. For a while, I had feeling for you," said Tanya. Since when? I said. Well, it kind of started when you used me as a walking, used me, and used me as a walking advertisement during the sports festival," said Tanya. Oh, I never actually apologized for that, did I? Said May. It's all right, May," said Tanya. There is another reason why I chose you, you for a, the sports festival," said May. Really? Why?" asked Tanya. I thought you were really cute, and I'm terrible at flirting," said May. Tanya smiled. They finished eating. They so they had some time, so they went to the park. While walking around, Tanya stopped out of nowhere. May stopped and turned around. Tanya, are you okay? Asked May. Then Tanya put his hand, <laughs> hand to May's face and kissed her. Of course, she kissed back, and that's how Tanya x May became a reality. Oh, so cute! I shipped him so much. Now let's move on to the next story. So I'm just very tired. A big day. Shoto and Momo are in the common room with their other classmates. Ario is also there, mostly being around Shinzo. She is on his leg, not letting him walk. Ari, please let me go. Let go, said Shinzo. No, said Ari. Then Emmy walked in. Hi, Miss Joker. Are you here for Ari? Asked Izuku. Izuku. Ari looked up and finally let go of Shinzo's leg. Hi, Mama, said Ari while running to, <laughs> to Emmy. Hi, Ari. Time for dinner. Said Emmy. No, I want to stay. Said Ari. 
I mean, like, Papa, I said, Emmy. Emmy, Ari is my own. They're running outside. Ari, wait, said Emmy. Emmy was about to run after her. Wait, her jacket, said Norchaku, who was throwing it to Emmy. Emmy catches it. Thanks, Ari, said Emmy. Emmy started running after her. Then Shoto got a phone call from his dad. He got up to answer it. Hey, dad, is something wrong? But it wasn't Angie who called. It was Ray. Ray? Ray. Shoto, I have great news. Shoto. Mom, why are you calling on dad's phone? Well, that's the great news. I'm leaving the hospital and moving back home. Shoto, that's great, mom. I know we are having a family dinner to celebrate. I already invited Toya and Himiko. Okay, great. I will be there. There, I will invite Momo to come. Then Momo walked to him and showed him a text. And a text. Ray already invited her. I can see you already invited her, so I couldn't wait. But I had to go and help Fuyumi get ready for dinner. See you tonight. Bye. See you tonight, bye. He hanged up. Should I get st should I get ready? Said Mama with a smile. Yep, said Shoto. After a while, they left to the Todoroki household. Ray and Fuyumi are in the kitchen getting ready dinner. Toya and Himiko are in the dining room getting ready the din dining table. And Ji's in his room meditating. He has been doing meditations where he can be more calm at home and then let all his anger out on the villains he defeats. Natsu just got home. He brought some mochi. After a while, Shoto and Momo finally arrived. They say their hellos and sat, on, sat down at the table. They continue to eat and all the, thing, and all the things are going on with their lives. Now, while eating, Ray notices something on Himiko's finger. Himiko, is that a ring on your finger? asked Ray. Himiko and Toya look at each other. We were waiting for another time to tell you. <laughs> tell you because tonight is all about, about mom. Said Toya, oh my gosh, congratulations, said Fuyumi. Everyone congratulated, um, congratulated, uh, Toya, Todoroki, and Himiko Toga. They finished eating and cleaned up. Fuyumi left first because she had to get, get some stuff for her teaching job. Natsu left a while, a while after Fuyumi. He mostly left to study for a big test. Shoto and Momo left uh, while after Natsu, they had to get back to the dorms before curfew. Toya and Himiko, Himiko were the last ones to leave, mostly because they were just tired. Ray and Angie were alone for the first time in their lives. They were happy, happy, and they were together peacefully. Well, that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to re continue reading the one shots, you can find a link to the one shots in the description below. Hello, and that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and you're going to be seeing some words in, um, sorry, it's hot in here, in three, two, one.